welcome and happy new year. We had a couple weeks holiday, but glad to be back at it with this group. New Year's is a time for um, reminding ourselves that we don't like to set resolutions anymore. But how about if we sit in practice exploring and honoring intentions for how we can be our highest and best? What does that mean to us personally? What sort of mental self-sabotage do we engage in to get in the way? And how can we clear that out? How can we be supportive of what matters most to ourselves? Let's begin by getting into our mindful body. Strong and straight, but relaxed. Calling to mind the image of a tree whose roots extend deeper than what we see on the surface. And taking several deep breaths together in silence. Exploring our bodies together, gently, compassionately. Where do I feel strong? And giving thanks for that. Where do I need support? What's uncomfortable? And sending our breath and our compassion to those parts of our body that need it. taking a moment to honor what changes as the years pass and what stays the same. Noticing our role in the time of the seasons. In the natural cycle of life. greater than us and mysterious with each breath. Thank you. 
moving fluidly between our mindfulness anchors, sound, breath, body awareness. thoughts and emotions. as we explore inward, noticing what serves and what doesn't serve with respect and gratitude. Because all the ingredients in our soup make up this beautiful human mystery. As we sit compassionately observing our bodies, our thoughts, and our little role in the cycle of life, the seasons of time, the cycle of the universe, we understand there's nothing to fix. And it's with this open mind and heart that we call upon the intentions we'd like to manifest in this new year. They can be gifts of the spirit. ease, peacefulness, compassion for self and others. Gratitude and abundance thinking. A release of shame, guilt and fear. That's a big list. Or gifts of the body, health, strength, ability to execute our purpose. Focus.
and we'll sit with this thought, how can I best support my growth for highest and best for myself and community? What do I want to honor? How can I provide service to myself and others in a way that's compassionate and honors the natural cycles of life and time? What is the deep desire of my heart? And how can I honor and manifest that? Sit with our heart and thoughts, always coming back to the body, the here and now with the breath, noticing the rise and fall of our chest and belly, noticing where our bodies make contact with the floor or chair. Noticing where we feel strong and where we need support, all with compassion. Also observing where our thoughts are punitive and correctional as we visualize our highest and best. And just breathing those thoughts, breathing through them, allowing them to pass. Asking for the willingness to be open-hearted and compassionate for ourselves on this journey. Thank you. 
How can we reframe some of our punitive thinking to honor the gifts of spirit and the body? So that I've got to lose 10 pounds or else can become, I want to feel good. I want to be strong so I can give my highest and best to myself and community. Or we can consider a, a fearfulness about not having enough money or work. We can lay an intention for how can I best provide service so that I can give and receive love most easily to myself, to my immediate community, and to the world around me. feels scary to let go of fearfulness, especially when money or health are on the line. For me too. And we do it one breath at a time. Ask for the wisdom and ease that we may be feeling in this moment to be present at all times and for us to have the willingness to call upon it for all thoughts, decisions, and actions. making this commitment this week to honor ourselves in this way so that we can give our highest and best to self and others. Let's take several deep breaths together in silence to close our practice, remembering what this openness and ease feels like. Filling up our buckets so that we can call upon it when we need it in a pinch.
and opening our eyes and our awareness. Thank you for joining us today. I'll be posting this podcast shortly and uh, looking forward to seeing you next week. Thanks, um, Susanna. <laughs>